Aloha there, this is Darcy coming to you from Cold Pond here in Haena. <clears throat> Are you feeling hot? I am. And it's summer, towards the end of summer, and it's high noon. Uh, excess heat, according to Ayurvedic medicine, can cause all manner of um, imbalances and maladies in the body and, and its accumulation. And so in Ayurvedic medicine, we want to try to <clears throat> uh, cleanse that at the end of the summer, but also prevent it from happening. And so in Ayurvedic medicine, one of the things that we do is um, try to use the opposite of the exacerbated guna. So if you're hot, what do you want to do? Chill out <laughs> So and cool off. And there's many different ways to do that. There's many ways that the uh, our sensorial impressions can imbibe heat. So uh, several ways that you can do that is, um, like right now, I'm about to jump in cold pond. It's pretty amazing here. Cold water. Another way is actually listening to running cold water, even just hearing it or seeing it, like this little waterfall behind me, can help cool the body and in turn calm the mind because what happens when we get hot, we get heated, we have a tendency towards more uh, feeling anger or frustration. Um, you know, that heat just kind of grinds in us unless we disaccumulate it or cleanse it from the body. So I'm going to list several ways to contra, uh, counteract heat, cold showers, cold showers, um, avoiding exercising, heavy exercising midday. If you're starting to feel overheated, cool off, take a cold shower, have sip some cool water. The summertime is the best time to kind of cheat and have ice cream, cool foods. Um, whereas at other times it can actually decrease the digestion, the agni, the digestive fire. So it's a great time to have cooling foods. You want to avoid spicy foods. Things that are really hot, garlic, onions, um, you know, hot stuff. Um, <clears throat> so those are several, several dietary things. There's a couple of uh, yogic practices. Um, one is called shitali pranayama, pranayama, shitali, which means cooling. If you have the gene where you can curl your tongue and breathe through that in and out, then um, do that for several minutes. You'll find it actually really cools you off. You could also, if you can't do that, you could make your, uh, breathe through your teeth like this. Or just, and then breathe out through the nose. And do that for several minutes, that can help. You wanna get to bed early, um, <clears throat> get up early to enjoy the cool, morning, cool mornings. Um, and uh, sleeping with the right side down helps to open the left nostril. So those are a couple of things to do. Cooling foods, you wanna keep your cool. Try to avoid overheating in your mind or your emotions. Try to be cool and let things pass, especially if you're overheating. Um, there's cooling foods. Um, let's see, basmati rice is cooling. Anything that's not red, you know, green leafy vegetables, uh, yogurt is cooling. Have you ever spritzed with rose water? Oh, it's delicious and divine. And you could add it to recipes as well. So these are several ways that you can chill out when you're feeling hot. Take a nice dip in the ocean, cool showers, and uh, have cool communications. <clears throat> okay, take good care, and uh, until we meet again, ahui ho.